After the Colorado Buffaloes dropped their game on Friday night to the Stanford Cardinal, Buffaloes head football coach Deion Sanders had this important message to say to his team. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we magnify you. We glorify you. We pray that no one has sustained injuries. If they did, Lord, we ask you to heal them expeditiously. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the mercies. Just thank you for the gifts that you've given us that we were able to go out there and display them to the best of our ability. Jesus' name, amen. 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 Guys, as a coach, and a praying coach, you can feel your team. You, you, you can feel what they're going through. You can feel where they are. You can feel the coaching staff. You can feel what's transpiring within us. And this is something I felt. That's why we put all of uh, the 17 or 15 uh, things up there that we need to do to win this game. You went out there, you started off just like we desired you to start. But then you got beside yourself. You start feeling yourself. You start thinking that you're better than you are. That's why we said the things we said at halftime. Now we find ourselves in a situation that we couldn't fathom. We find ourselves in a situation that you would never guess. Uh, what was the score at halftime? 21. 29-0. And we gave up, I believe, 20 or whatever, 18 unanswered points with no response to it. You got to really make up your mind now. And that was the key word of the day. Make up your mind now. Do you really want to play this game? Like, do you really want this game to support you, to provide for you, to be your rest haven, to do the things that you want this game to do? for you so you can have some of the things that you desire to have. Because right now, what I see is a bunch of guys who are in like with the game. You're not in love with the game. Because when you're in love with something, you give it everything you got. You really got to search your heart. This is coaches included. Search your heart and find out, do you love this or do you like this? Because right now, you're in like with this. And the problem I have is I'm in love with this, and I can't put up with the light. I walk and I look at you on the sideline, and I'm sitting up there thinking, you have so much more inside of you that you're giving, than, than you're giving. You're not giving everything you've got. You just, you're counting on somebody else to do the job. you count on somebody else to be there. you count on somebody else to get it done. you count on somebody else to make it happen for you. And life don't work like that. Sooner or later, you're going to have your own responsibilities. You're not going to be on scholarship. You're not going to be taken care of. You're not going to be looked after. You're not going to have the luxuries of all this. And you're going to have to go out there and get it on your own and work your butt off. Because ain't nobody going to give you nothing. I don't understand. I don't think you understand what this world is consists of. What we just did today was pathetic. All the love that you received, all the love that we received, oh, you getting ready to see that flip. And don't get beside yourself on social media and start responding to the foolishness because they're right. They're right. And we're practicing tomorrow. God bless.